Now you have sometimes been without a cigarette and you needed one, right? Oh yes. Because you're a smoker. I was hurting bad. So, um, what do you look for when you need a cigarette? Do you, do you ask things like, may I have an extra cigarette? <laughs> is, that, is that a code that you're an outsider and you don't belong? Is that like a narc asking to buy drugs? I don't believe so, no. No? You have an extra cigarette? Yes, do you need one? No, but you should count your lucky stars that you got an extra cigarette in your pack, hardy har har. You are obviously a pioneer in metal. I don't know if you will say that yourself, but you you really are. Um. <laughs> That's not very gothic. This is our drummer, John Lynn. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> So this is the official metal way of uh, doing camera work. You have a hole in your pocket, did you know that? Yep. Okay. You find that a lot of Polish people who are known for being very stupid see your show because they think you're playing poker. <laughs> and Russians. Uh, well, our sound lady is yeah, Polish. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, why, does she, why is she there every night? <laughs> George, a while ago, I asked you to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yep. And you refused. Yep. But in the end, you did sing. Nope. Yes, you did. You have it on tape or anything? No. Thank you. The, the tape ran out. In your early days, you mentioned to the press that you cursed Manowar. What? What was the reason for that? I've never mentioned that in any press. That must be one of his little things, man. How to drink vodka the Russian way with spouting like a whale. Finnish vodka. Please, we don't have too much time. Can we just... Uh, uh, okay. Look, okay. I'm, can we just get the panties thing out of the way first? No. Once I know Teresa's we're being very way. difficult. Don't you get the idea if she drinks the vodka, the panties will come off. Oh. Would you rather date girls that are fans of Type Negative, or would you rather date a girl that has no idea who you are? I would rather date someone who has no idea who I am because, well, at that point we have something in common because I have no fucking idea who I am. Are you struck silent? Is that it? Come this way, human. She wants to show her uh, your tits or something like that. <laughs> what are you talking about, you idiot? Let me touch him. Stupid man. Let me touch him. No. Ah. That's why a girl must protect the most ultimate of weapons. And what do you do, Gore Woman? What do I do? What is it that I don't do? Is what I want to know. It's who doesn't she do is the real question. Right. In the beginning, it was gruff vocals. Nope. And now, it's clean vocals. Correct. Give us an example of those clean vocals. Oh, I'm no singer. I'm no singer whatsoever. Smell his nose, because most people... <laughs> most people don't know what my nose smells like. Yeah. Because, like, you know, taste the tongue and smell the nose. That's my motto. <laughs> I just smell his nose. Smell the nose. <laughs> SOD. Yeah. Is there a role playing game based on your band? A role playing game based on our band? Not that I know. Like a fantasy role playing game with swords and, and dragons? No, there's a lot of role playing and fantasy in SOD, but it's not marketable. It's just uh, drunken bullshit. So it's just a rumor that there's a game called SOD and D. <laughs> I mean, you do write the guitar solos, right? Oh, yes, so you didn't really get to sample the local cuisine here. You're just pretty much eating pizza and burgers. Yeah, That's yeah, all they serve us. That's terrible. Damn it. You don't go to a restaurant? You didn't check out any? Oh, I don't have time. No, never have time. Because I was reading on the Enciferum blog, and apparently they go out a lot, and they go to a nice restaurant. I mean, they yeah, like their... they uh, play. They play late. Last, they play so, late, so they yeah. go to Greek places and... Mexican places and they really enjoy the food and I like to whenever I travel I like to I like the local cuisine we do too yeah but I never have an appetite because I'm always hungover <laughs> the venues are larger but the stages are getting smaller and smaller yeah because there's a, one of our stuff already on stage and we have to put our stuff they in front of have a large drum set yeah well that's not really a problem oh it's I'm just whining all the time is just Finnish cozy. equipment uh, bigger than Swedish equipment of course is Popeye. Do you know who Popeye is? Yeah. If he's very strong to you. 
if he's very strong to us. Yes. Because I heard that he's strong to the Finnish. So are you strong to the Norwegians? Yes, I'm strong to them. Yeah. Do they regard you as strong? Um, yes. Are you strong to the Finnish? Because you eat your spinach? Yeah. George, is it because... No. It's not happening. Come on, is it because people are we looking had this at you? conversation before, didn't we? Not? Is it because people are looking at you? No. Then what is the problem? It's a fucking stupid song. <laughs> Mary Had a Little Lamb oh, is the most satanic me. song ever. What? Oh, those. Oh, come what on. is that? They're Victoria's Come on. <laughs> oh, just unbutton yeah, a little bit. Just a little teeny bit of it. Oh my it God. would be so sexy. Come on. Oh. Everybody help me. Because Teresa yeah. is. Oh. Wow. Wait, wait. Or any of the lyrics about Popeye and how he terrifies <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell Charlie all about Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> This is the tragic part. Go ahead. Yeah. Ladies, you are very disappointing. I think we've we've talked about this before it happened. George, I told you. I swear. Right here, man. Out of question. Now, why would you think a king would think an egg that has broken on the ground was so important that he used his entire nation's resources, all the king's horses, and all the king's men? We're trying to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Why? Well, you know what they say about eggs. had a little. Come on, George, one time. <laughs> no, Chris Barnes never had this problem with timing. You see, someone threw an egg at him, and he had his entire nation trying to reassemble the egg to give clues as to who threw the egg. And nowadays, when someone let, lets loose a bomb in public, they try to reassemble the bomb to see telltale signs of the bomb making. I try to sing, George. What excuse are you going to give for your bad performance? Um, I can't say. All right. So that's not really an excuse. Now try it. It's fucking reality. Now try it. All right. On the count of three. Now, girls, will you participate this time? I want you facing his ears. Look at his ears. Face his ears. His ears are your microphones. Show them where your ears are, George. Hey, we see them. All right. On the count of three, let's sing this song. One, two, three. <laughs> Worrell, can you please teach Teresa how to drink vodka? Okay, okay this yeah. is how you drink vodka the Russian way. Because I am half Russian. On some side of my twisted family. On my mom's side. Anyway, this is how you do it. You take a deep breath. Like you're taking a crack hit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> really, try it. Crack hit and that is with me. <laughs> One. Get to well, the you know part. I can scream. Okay. So ah! we've got 20 questions. So hurry up. Okay. <laughs> so it goes in like a crack hit and comes out like a fucking. All right, <laughs> Teresa. Now you try it. No, not again. Oh, he's dripping all over you. Oh. Wait, this, uh. th Teresa. This is for the video. Can you please try it for the video? Just taking a big breath. I just drooled on you. And then let it out after you swallow. That way it just all comes out. Yeah, it's okay. your hair you bring out the bad in people. There you go. <laughs> or do you try to start a conversation with somebody and then the person seems uneasy with the hands, like, ah, smoker. Because you don't know what to do with your hands, right? You smoke very true. This window washer right here. Go ahead, try it. Hello, sir. We're doing a survey. Um, do you smoke by chance? You smoke what? Cigarettes now? Yes, cigarettes. But if you did, <laughs> what would be the brand of choice? Well, I used to smoke, so Marlboro. Are you from mm -hmm. around here? Uh, I grew up in Syracuse. I would be a Maryland license plate. Syracuse, and that would be but I moved. north or south of here? Very north. I believe. Ah, uh, so far the theory holds true. What's the thing? Our uh, night right here will tell you. <laughs> Was it, um, I thought you were saying earlier, people that live north of here smoke menthol. No, gay no. people who live north of here smoke oh, Marlboro no, menthol. No, no. Oh, I thought it was that people, no, gay people smoke camels. Well, gay people from here smoke camels. But I'm not, ah, uh, so I'm not gay. 
Because I'm not. I'm from Jersey. All right. Well, you have very gay tendencies. It doesn't mean you're <laughs> gay. You know, it's like a spectrum. Look, all I'm saying is, I got this for free. If a cigarette's for free, you take it. Uh, I don't know. How are you going to take it? You know, orally, <laughs> anally? You know, are you a yogi? <laughs> There's no wrong way, right? I don't take things. I accept them. Ah. So, you you're, the, it orally you're the receiver. Anally. Yeah, it's the way, it's the wording that's very important that determines your orientation. I don't know, because you're receiving it, it means you, you, know, you don't necessarily like it. You're saying accept it, so you like it. Well, you're, you're sort of smoking for acceptance, but this guy right here, I'm pretty sure that he's just a smoker. Right? Is that true? Yes, that is true. So, if you need a cigarette, you will smoke any kind of cigarette. No, I will not smoke USA Gold. Yeah, but other than that, That's you will terrible. you will smoke no any animal. cigarette, <laughs> basically anything, yeah, male or female. Yes. So let's carry on. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.